Hey guys, Tony here. I'm going to perform a particular exercise here, finding out what your life number is, if it matches your characteristics, by using your name and birth date. Shout out to Miss Shovelcan for coming out with the article. But what this expert doesn't fucking do is say that she's using Gematria to perform these calculations. No use of Gematria at all. She is using Gematria to come out with your life number and characteristics. She's using Pythagorean Gematria, but there is no use of Gematria in the video. But I'm here to walk you through my life number. I am a number 13, by the way. I share the characteristics of a number 13. But in this video, through her methods, I have a different number. I'm going to perform my calculations, I'm going to reveal to you if it matches my particular characteristics or not. I'm going to show you how to walk through this exercise. Please comment. Please say if, after going through this exercise, if it matches your personality and your particular characteristics. Step number one. Using the letters and numbers chart shown on the left, which, by the way, is a Pythagorean Gematria chart. Write down your full original name and match the corresponding numbers to each letter. Step 1. Using Pythagorean Gematria, A is 1, B is 2, all the way through I. You start back at J. J equals 1. My real name, Anthony Michael DeLorenzi. In Gematria, in Pythagorean Gematria equals 121. So I did that. Okay, wants to do it separately. Let me do this again. It is Anthony in Gematria that equals 34. The exercise says to add all the digits together at the end. So 21 there, and then you have to add 21. So I, I will do that here. 3 plus 4. Step number 2 is Michael. Michael and Jamatri equals 33. You add uh, 3 plus 3. And, and then my last name, uh, De Lorenzi. De Lorenzi and Gematria equals 54, and Pythagorean Gematria, I'm going to add that. So Pythagorean Gematria, I got the value for my name, for all three of my names. I add up the double digits together to form a single digit right here. My life destiny number is... 22. What does 22 reveal? Pretty interesting how that's the case. Okay, then I have to add the two digits at the end. Normally I don't do that. So I am a number four. A number four. What do the numbers mean? One's off. Let me start with four. Fours are hard workers who commit themselves to their goals and prioritize a high quality of workmanship. They are the cornerstones of any enterprise, and their accuracy and attention to detail makes them talented auditors, bookkeepers, and builders. Pretty interesting. Auditing and accounting. I have a degree in accountancy right now. This life, this destiny number totally matches what I'm studying right now. When I got into accounting, you know, I what made me got into this was, you know, the potential to audit crooks and, you know, audit the Federal Reserve. Pretty interesting how that's the case. 
top five strengths for the number four. You know, I am focused on my goals, you know, here and, and outside of numerology, in my studies. My room's never organized, but my notes and my studies are hard working, you know. This hard work I'm doing in Gematria right now is, is, is paying off in my studies too right now. I'm close to completing my degree. Top five challenges. Intolerant. Narrow-minded. That's sometimes a weakness because I'm a, I'm a very confident guy. I'm a very confident guy in, in my predictions, and I've been right before, so, you know, and I, and I like sticking with picks, so it's funny how this is pretty accurate, too. Pessimistic, you know, when you're intelligent, you know, intelligent people tend to be pessimistic. You know, I'm, I, I'm not... I, n I never thought Trump would be great at all. You know, he was going to be a big disaster. And my friend was like, oh, wh why aren't you being so positive? Yada, yada, yada. I tolerate other people's views. This one is not very, th uh, th this is not really the case. But floors make fantastic CEOs, managers, accountants, auditors, editors, surveyors, analysts, banking and finance, professionals. Builders, engineers, architects, planners in law enforcement and property professionals. So this is my life number. See here, is there anything else? There is something at the top too. There is another exercise that they did. Add together all the single digits in your birth date. Let me do that. July the 27th of 1995. This adds up to 40. Step one. Then add the two digits together. 4 plus 0 equals 4. My destiny number is the second most significant number in your life. This reveals what you're destined to do, what your life path number is, and insight into your personality. Your destiny number reveals your aptitudes. Particularly useful in choosing a career, it also shows the kind of person you'll become. By consulting your life path number and destiny number conjunction, you'll gain invaluable insights into the choices you should make. Okay, this was completely different. What does this reveal? Okay, there's the uh, personality traits. Four promotes organization stability. It's ideal for anything that involves building, planning, managing, analyzing, strategic thinking. I have a perfect description for my life path number. Do this exercise. Let me know if it's accurate or not for your life number and your destiny number. But Gematria is real. They use Gematria in this exercise. Gematria, as they say, is the code of God. 